Hello, welcome to the Machine Shop. My name is Keely. Today we're going to be going over Drill Press 101 and just talking about these lovely machines. So, as an introduction to the machine, this is a drill press. We have two in the shop. We're going to see the first one in the front, and then later we're going to talk about the one in the back. Um, very simple. You use it, we use it to drill holes, um, and it's used for lower lower precision parts. We, if we're looking at high precision, we're going to be on the mill. If we're looking for super low precision, um, hand drills are always useful. And so this machine is used to find, basically for that heavy medium in order to drill a hole in a part. Um, the, um, just a quick vocab of the machine. Um, this is the on-off switch. Green is go, red is stop. If we come around to the other side and look in here, we can see the belts and they're and their speeds that correlate. Um, right now I can tell that because this is set at the first and then this is set at the fourth that this drill press is set at 200 RPM which is um, these are kind of difficult to change so if you need help please ask a TA. We have them mostly set for aluminum but we can change them. Um, the only other thing is we have a Jacobs chuck that lives in the drill press and so we tighten with a chuck key um, which is attached to the machine. And then this is the coil it lowers like this, and we can move the table of this drill press up and down using this lever and the lock back here. Um, additionally, there's also a vise on this drill press, which can be easily removed. It's just screwed in at the bottom, um, so, you, so you can use uh, C-clamps or uh, vise grips, really anything you need to, in order to secure your parts to the table, um, because spin parts out of their work holdings if not properly secured. So we please ask that if you're going to use a drill press that you uh, make sure it is properly secured. So if you ever come into the machine shop and you're not sure that your part is secured well enough, please ask a TA. We are here to help you. Don't forget that high speed steel or the HSS drill bits do deflect. There's lots of um, things we can do to make our drilling better. Um, for example, if we spot drill or we center punch, our hole is going to be more concentric. As for speeds and feeds, there's a chart on the wall that we highly recommend you look at and um, always ask a TA if you need help. And we suggest that you we use a, a very conservative speed and feed. Now that we've gone over basically what you can do with a drill press and all of its quirks, we're going to move to the drill press in the back. I'll introduce that one to you. And here we go. Alright, this is the second drill press we have in the shop. This one is located in the back corner next to the water jet and the fifth mill. This drill press is basically the same as the one in the front. To look at the belts in this one, you just lower this lever and you can look inside there. Um, and then you read this one. This one is set at, it's currently set at 535 RPM. And we normally leave this one in. And it speeds inside is a good speed for drilling most materials in the shop. Um, the only difference is the table on this one's bigger. However, it's just really a piece of wood on top of the table with a vise attached. We have a lot of C-clamps and a lot of different ways that you can position this in order to best drill your part. The quill works the same. Green is again go and red is stop. This one does have a depth gauge in case you wanted to make sure that you were going an inch or two in to your part. However, if you are looking to be more specific than a general inch or two, we do suggest drilling on the mill because you can get down exactly to the thousand. Hello students, this is Casey, the machine shop manager. Keely went over the basics of the drill press, and I'm going to go over just how to get started drilling through your material. Before you start, you must make sure that your workpiece is marked, preferably with a center punch, to help guide the drill bit. It must be secured in a vise or with clamps to prevent it from spinning. You must also check your drill bits to make sure that they are sharp. Dulled drill bits are dangerous and will produce very poor quality holes. If you have a dull drill bit or one that is chipped, please hand it to a TA and we can find you another drill bit or even sharpen the one that you have. Also, make sure you check the drill speed for your material. Now I'm going to go over how to install a drill bit. First, you can loosen the Jacobs chuck by spinning it with your hand until it's large enough to put the drill bit in. You can then secure it by hand so the drill bit does not fall out, but you must tighten it with the key. Do not leave the key in the truck as that is a safety hazard. 
for small drill bits, you want to take extra care to make sure that they are well centered within the chuck. Small drill bits can be tightened off center or even at an angle. This one's a little extreme, but you must double check this before you turn on the machine. For feeding the drill bit into the material, you want to use moderate pressure. Smaller drill bits require less pressure, larger drill bits require more pressure, but do not force the drill bits. You will generally have a better cut if you allow the drill bit to cut through the material. You will also want to do peck drilling where you periodically raise the drill bit to clear the chips from the hole. This will provide a better quality hole and will also prevent the drill bit from breaking and dulling. When you are finished drilling the hole, be sure to brush off the chips with a brush or a shop towel and then sweep the floor and clean up all the mess and leave it cleaner than you found it. It is also important to deburr the holes as there may be very sharp edges on the part. Um, as for cleanup on a drill press, we expect you to wipe off all the chips, um, take care of your, your drill bit, and sweep up the area around you. Often chips tend to fly a little bit. So um, thank you for using our machine shop, cleaning up after yourselves and watching this video. Have a good day.